He is known for his military education and training, including attending the United States Military Academy and completing the Army Air Corps Primary Flying School. He graduated from the Army Command and General Staff College, showcasing his dedication to developing strategic and leadership skills. His name is Robert Milchrist Cannon. In the annals of military history, one name stands out, Robert Milchrist Cannon, a legendary figure whose contributions to the field of military are unparalleled. Born in Utah, Cannon's journey into the world of warfare began at the University of Utah, where he spent two years before transferring to the United States Military Academy. Graduating in 1925, he received a commission as a second lieutenant in the field artillery branch and was stationed at Fort D.A. Russell in Wyoming. Cannon's passion for aviation led him to complete the Army Air Corps Primary Flying School in 1927. Recognizing his potential, he further honed his skills by attending the Battery Officers Course in 1931 and graduating from the prestigious Army Command and General Staff College in 1938. Prior to the outbreak of World War II, Cannon served as an instructor at the renowned Fort Sill Field Artillery School in Oklahoma, sharing his knowledge and expertise with future military leaders. When the United States entered World War II, Cannon's remarkable skills and leadership qualities were put to the test. He played a pivotal role in various military campaigns and battles, demonstrating his strategic prowess and unwavering dedication to the cause. Cannon's important military achievements, such as his leadership at the Battle of the Bulge and the liberation of concentration camps, not only marked significant victories for the Allied forces but also showcased his immense contribution to the field of military. His tactical brilliance and unwavering commitment to the welfare of his troops made him a revered figure among his comrades. In the years following World War II, Robert found himself in various positions of leadership within the United States Army. After the war, he served as chairman of an army board, responsible for interviewing and recommending candidates for officer commissions. His experience and expertise made him a valuable asset in this role. In 1948, Robert attended the basic airborne course, preparing himself for his next assignment with the renowned 82nd Airborne Division. After completing the course, he took command of the division artillery, showcasing his ability to lead and strategize in a highly specialized and demanding role. From 1951 to 1952, Robert's leadership skills were put to the test as he served as the commander of the U.S. Army Advisory Group in Turkey. In this role, he played a crucial part in providing guidance and support to the Turkish military during a time of political and security challenges. In the years that followed, Robert held several important positions, demonstrating his versatility and adaptability. He served as the head of the Army Audit Agency from 1952 to 1953, showcasing his attention to detail and commitment to ensuring accountability within the military. Later, Robert took on the role of Chief of the Joint U.S. Military Advisory Group, advising the Philippine government in their efforts to combat the Hikbalahap insurgency. His expertise and guidance were instrumental in helping the Philippine Armed Forces overcome this threat and restore peace and stability to the region. Robert's dedication to his country did not go unnoticed, and he was appointed as the Service Special Assistant to the Joint Chiefs of Staff for Mutual Defense Advisory Pact Affairs. In this prestigious position, he played a significant role in strengthening the defense partnerships between the United States and its allies. Throughout his military career, Robert Milchrist Cannon proved himself as a capable and respected leader. His service in various roles showcased his adaptability and commitment to his country, leaving a lasting impact on the United States Army and its allies. Do you want to explore more politician or military strategist? Who do you want to see featured next? Subscribe and leave a comment below to let me know. I'll see you in the next video.